Yankee style, baby. Clean. Good morning, everybody. Real Ninjas out here on you know, K Dock in Berkeley, California. We're on the Gold Night 2000 today. We're gonna go do some live bait fishing for halibut. Let me show you the rig. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll put a, um, a, a portion of the video where I show you how to tie this rig. But what I what we got here is a three-way swivel with about about 12 inch drop for the weight to about five and a half, six feet of uh, 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon on a, with a live bait knot. So you can see that that hook can move on the knot like this so the fish can swim around. We'll show you how to hook those fish up right when we put the bait on there. We'll show you the right way to grab your fish, how to uh, put it on the hook and make sure that you got a nice, lively, active bait. You don't want to be dropping a dead bait or a wounded bait, you want to hook it up nice, get it down there so that halibut can munch it. All right, we'll, be, we'll see you in a little bit. We're going to get fishy today. I was just inspecting my leader, and last time I was out fishing with this leader, it was a new Thai leader, but I caught a, a shark in it. There's a little bit of abrasion here on the line, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tie this knot right now. I'm just going to cut a little bit off and get some fresh line. It's still plenty long enough. So what, the first thing you do when you tie a live bait knot, this is 25 pound fluorocarbon that I'm using this time. You just tie a knot like this on the on the bite of the line. The bite meaning, say like this would be the tag end, so anything in between one end and, and the other is the bite of the line. It's called the bite of the line. So you tie a knot right there. So now you got a little knot. Then you take your hook. Go through the eye, then run the tag end, then run the tag end of the up through the knot, and pinch it about about there because you want a little. That's what you want. You want your hook to swing around on there. Then you take the tag end and wrap it around the bite of the line five times, four or five times. I usually go five because I'm naughty. One, two, three, four, five wraps. Then, after you got your wraps on there, you go back down through the knot. That the loop in the knot. Now, now see you pull it together, and then lubricate it, moisten it, so it doesn't get too much friction on the line. And you can adjust where it sits too while you're doing this. But it's about good right there. So that's the knot right there. Now, it's not done to me. Cuz I like to I like to set it set it so it's strong. So you could take it put around something like this and test it. And you can even use your fingernail to slide that knot down a little tighter. Oops. I like to make sure my knot is set very good, especially before I, I cut the tag end off because I want to make sure my tag end is not too long, but I have enough there on the tag end so if it slips I got a little bit for it to grab so I'm just gonna cut it short like right there Can you see that yes just like that now what's nice about this knot too is because the tag end is kind of laying parallel to the line if you go through grass or something like that it's it's gonna it's it'll rub off it's not gonna catch it like if it's like say you tied a different knot and the tag end was sticking up this way and then it would grab stuff but this one it'll lay down and um and it'll go across the grass without without catching too much shit or stuff i mean 
<laughs> <laughs> and actually, I think I'll trim this just a little bit shorter. There it is. That's your live bait, live bait knot with the owner's uh, cutting point live bait hook. Two ot, two ot for the nose. We're gonna get them now. Yeah, what's up, Ninja Style? Woo! <laughs> hey, morning, Ninja. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Man, I love going fishing with Captain Kwan on the Golden Eye 2000. And you know what else is nice? This boat is so wide and stable and fast. Look at the look at the bow on this thing. I'm gonna turn around and let you see the bow. Look at this. How open how open it is. And then you got wide wide area to walk through on the side. Nice wide platform. Plenty of room for fishing on here. <laughs> Everybody on the boat getting fishy. That's right. My biggest That's nice, man. Fun. That's a cool boat. I'm looking Always have fun on this boat. Ho, 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 here yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go kill him. fishing on, uh, on the COVID-19. This is what we look like, guys. Mask on everybody. COVID-19. That's what we got to do. The boat got to be clean, sanitized, mask on at all times. Got to stay apart. All that. Uh, so, yeah. so, Quan, how's, how's the fishing been lately? Oh, fantastic. We live it out uh, pretty much every day for the last, what, two weeks? Even before that, we were like close to limit and limit for the, since we started till now, it's been 95% of the time we either limit or near limit. Near limit means like a couple of fish short of limit. Okay. And it's all outside too. All outside the gate. It's nice, big fish. This is, the, this is the year for it. For the big boys come out. Are you guys going fishing? No. We're going fishing too. Hey, are you guys going fishing? Titties? Yeah, show me your titties. <laughs> <laughs> Always reel up to about here. That way you can swing it to you, grab it, lean it against the rail just like this. Never lean it like this because you're going to block the walkway. You want to have the walkway clear, so always lean it against the rail just like that, guys. And then when you guys bait the hooks, make sure your hands are wet or else the scales will fall off. That's no good, guys. So try to get the liveliest best looking anchovy out of the box and you want to hold it right below the eye don't hold it too 
low, or else you'll break his neck while you hook it. So you want to hold it just like this, guys, right below the eyes. And when you hook it, you want to pinch the, fit, the, the hook like this with your thumb and your pointer finger and use your middle finger to put it on top of his head. That way, that way you don't break his neck while you hook it, okay guys? It's very important to have a nice lively bait on your hook. So just like this, do that bottom lip out in front of the eyes through the nose, just like that. Very important right here, guys. You're catching a lot of fish. Show how it moves on the hook. Just like that, guys. And after you after you hook it, drop it in the water. Make sure it's nice and strong. If it's not nice and strong, change it out. That's how your bait should look. You see how that bait moves on the hook? That's, That's a how good you want it. Bait. So real quick, just look at the way you want your, your weight to be tapping on the bottom. Tap, tap. You don't want to be suspended and hanging it up in the uh, off the bottom and you don't want to be dragging across the bottom. You want to tap, look, tap. Tap. Actually, yeah, tap. Let me get a little bit more out here. That's how you know it's tapping. Tap. Lifting. Tap. short strike if you get short bit you see how that bait's kind of stripped the bait's fucked up right something bit that bait but did not get the hook my ninja my ninja eric hook up
fish to sleep. Pressure point right there. It's a nice fish. Go, oh, baby. Have a boo boo. Oh, I think so. Yeah. The one with the fish. You go out there. There you go. Don't bring it to the boat, okay? Now lift it up. Lift it up, lift it up. Up, up, up.
Hey, uh, fellow Anglos, today on the Golden Eye 2000, it was awesome. I got two halibut and a rock cod. Uh, beautiful weather, everything cool. Captain Juan is very nice, and deckhand Joe's always catch the fish. Good thing I didn't lose any fish, so we had a great time. Just uh, got down with fishing the Golden Eye 2000, had a great uh, turnout. Ended up with two, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Hell a bit <laughs> at the last 15 minutes of our of our day. Pretty good size. Uh, overall, good experience, and uh, I'll be coming back soon. Make sure you put leave your mask on, okay, guy. And uh, if you're gonna fillet the fish, have your fish fillet. Stay in this a little bit, okay, guy. And stay on one side. Keep the walkway clear. And then uh, don't forget Joe, guy. He worked hard for you guys today. So take care, of Joe, for me, okay? Thank you.